Hey everybody, so Tara and I are here to do her four month update. Huh? She is four months, or she turned four months on June or June 9th, and it is June 15th today. So I'm a little bit late, I apologize, but now that I'm going back to work, I just don't have the time to do videos when I could be spending all my time with her. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and get this done as fast as possible. Hopefully I don't forget anything because I didn't make any notes. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. We um, went to her four month doctor's appointment on June 11th. Um, she weighed in at 15.8 pounds, so she's a big girl, but she's also very tall. Um, she is close to 26 inches, um, and I didn't ask the percentiles or anything for that sort of stuff because I don't really care. I don't wanna have to worry about if she's, you know, too much or too little as far as the percentiles go um i'm no i'm sure if i wanted to get the information the doctor would be able to give it to me but i don't really care doctor said she is absolutely perfect I need to cut your nails chick um yeah the doctor said she's absolutely perfect um she gave us the okay to start her on solids um i'm not sure if that's because she's almost close to doubling her birth weight or because she's just um so strong and so you know I guess I could use the word hardy <laughs> she's just such a big strong girl she is very advanced I think for her for her age um, she has almost complete head and um, upper body control she can't you know sit up by herself but she is <laughs> just so you know advanced and that I think that's just because you know she's my daughter but um you like seeing yourself in the <laughs> in the computer screen. I'm sorry about the lighting, but I got my back door over on this side of me and it's kind of making a, a bright light against my face. Um, what else we talk about her doctor's appointment? Um, she is, uh, God, I can't even think now. She is getting teeth. We talked about that at her doctor's appointment. Um, she got her first tooth the day before her. She turned four months, so the 8th of, of June. And then she is now getting a second tooth already. And that came, started coming in yesterday when I she was gnawing on my finger. I noticed that. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty shocked that she already has two teeth. Big girl yawn. Um, but she's taking after her daddy's footsteps there. Um, he had teeth by three and a half months his mom said so yeah she's definitely she's definitely following um, his footsteps I didn't get teeth until I was like seven eight or nine months something like that my mom wasn't exactly sure when <clears throat> when I got my first tooth um what else she had to get shots at her four-month appointment which is always awful and normally um, she would have to get poked three times um, um, one being a combo shot and then two single shots, but the combo shot that they normally use, what are you looking at? The combo shot that they normally use is, um, has a national shortage right now. And I'm sure you mommies out there that, um, vaccinate your children probably got that same, <clears throat> that same talk from your doctor. So she had to get po poked four times, two in each leg. And ugh, it was horrible, 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 horrible. Um, you know, I was sitting at the head of her table where she was getting her shots and I kind of just held her hands down and <clears throat> I couldn't even watch because it just makes me want to throw up. I, you know, had a stomach ache all morning just thinking about her having to get shots that day. So, ooh, ooh, drool. Are you going to gag on your drool? She tends to do that a lot. She produces so much saliva that she can't really control it all. <laughs> um, so she chokes a lot huh are you gonna get the hiccups now um what else what else um going back to starting her on solids um the um first thing she had was carrots and we started that monday night the night of her doctor's appointment um we were over at tim's parents house and ooh, you got two in your hand we we're over at tim's parents house so we steamed her some carrots and i didn't have my baby bullet there so we tried to mash them up but with a fork and just kind of add a little bit of her formula to um, make it a little creamier but um, it wasn't pureed enough so um she was having a hard time with it um but then tuesday you know 
Um, I busted out the baby bullet. I put like maybe half a bag of carrots of the baby carrots in my baby uh, or in my steamer and steamed them and then blended them up in the baby bullet and I got um, I did four half jars for my refrigerator and then I did four um, for my freezer so and she's doing raspberries and blowing spit everywhere um, so yeah that made it a lot easier the baby bullet pureed it really really smooth um, she hasn't had a problem with it at all if you are friends with me on Facebook um, I posted a, her, a video there on of her Tuesday night feeding um, and then yesterday I made a video of her and her new high chair which we purchased on Wednesday my mom and I went and got um, that at Babies R Us it's the poly magic high chair so it has multiple settings huh it has multiple settings for 0 to 6 months um, 6 to 18 months and 18 to 36 months um, the you know zero to six months you don't put the tray on and it leans all the way back so that um, you're able to you're able to feed them um, while they're leaning back because since she doesn't have you know complete upper body control she like she can support her head no problem but she doesn't she can't sit up by herself it's kind of hard for her to she leans forward and then you know the food will come flying out of her mouth so we still have to lean her back but in a couple months I'm sure she'll be in the next stage um, but yeah, what, what, I got off track there. She is having no problem with eating. She, the first couple of times, she kind of would spit it out a little bit with her tongue. But she has mastered it now. She's completely figured it out. Um, huh. You like carrots. She has learned how to use the tongue to pull the food toward the back of her mouth and swallow it. Um, almost 95% of it is being eaten and not you know going on her bib or on her clothes or whatnot so that's really really good and um, yesterday I could not even shovel fast enough um, <laughs> I was doing you know just smaller spoonfuls and she was just getting really angry I didn't know if you know she was not wasn't liking it but then I figured out that she just wanted me to keep on going because every time I would give her another spoonful she would be just perfectly content and very very happy huh <laughs> hiccup monster um what else I am losing my train of thought um 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 what else Tara Grace oh um so yeah we did Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday carrots um the baby bullet book says four days my doctor said three days um every three days you can introduce a new food but the book said four so I went with four um and then we gave her um some bananas actually yesterday morning so technically it was only th it was four days of carrots um, but on the fourth day I also started her on bananas a little bit in the morning bananas and some organic brown rice cereal what are you don't like my my fingers don't taste good or what <laughs> you made a weird face um, so yeah the, um, yesterday she had her first round of blended um, bananas I made it really really runny I added extra water with the baby bullet and then I just added the brown rice into it to thicken it up so she absolutely loved 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 that she ate um, a quarter of a banana all blended up and probably I don't know maybe a tablespoon of the brown rice cereal all mixed up so she did really great and she hasn't had any reaction to it she hasn't you know gagged or spit up any tons amount of food or anything like that so I'm assuming that she is perfectly fine with with everything um, and I'm gonna try and do all of her baby food as organic as possible I'm gonna try and you know make everything at home um, but we are going camping in August so I will probably um, probably buy some um, of the you know prepackaged pre-made stuff to take and put in our trailer but we will see I'm gonna try and you know maybe do it partially you know before maybe before we leave huh oh there's daddy maybe before we leave <laughs> and you know maybe freeze it or so I don't know I'll figure out something but yeah love the baby bullet she's loving food um, just watching all of her faces that she makes with every new new thing that she's gonna be make or gonna be trying over the next couple months is just gonna be very very exciting um what else what else do 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 um she is like I mentioned in her three month video she's rolling all over the place um it was I can't think if it was belly to back yeah more belly to back in three months but I think it was kind of 
more when she was on softer surfaces and I think I mentioned that if not oh well um, but now she is from her back to her belly like in no time flat I can't even lay her down and keep her still for any length of time she is just flips over instantly um, and then she's now she seems to be having a little bit more trouble kind of going from her belly to her back but she can do it it just takes a little bit more time oh big yawn she just woke up from a nap um did i talk about her amber teething necklace what she's wearing she doesn't wear it all the time but it is um, helping with her teeth because she just really isn't that fussy i mean she does have her fussy times but she is um, really doing well with the fact that she cut two teeth you know so close together she just i thought she would be a lot more fussy um as far as tummy time goes she supports herself so so well she pretty much holds herself up on her forearms and just looks around and looks around and um she could do that she could hold herself there for a good solid i don't know 20 to 30 minutes depending on her mood um with with no problems at all um she i swear she's going to start crawling in the next maybe month and a half or so she gets those knees going and kicks those feet when she's on her stomach and she just wants to move um especially if there's a toy or something that she wants to get to she, and she can't reach it she gets so frustrated because she wants to just go um what else boop, 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 boop hiccups 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 um sleep is going good um she pretty much is in bed no later than nine o'clock um most of the time it's about between um about closer to eight o'clock but you know by nine o'clock she's definitely asleep um and then she'll sleep till about 3 a.m 3 30 or so and she get up, gets up and has a little four ounce bottle and then she passes back out um usually in her crib for another i don't know four hours or three or four hours depending um and then she'll make a little fussy noise and if i don't have to work that day or if i don't have to get up early or anything then i will pick her up and just go put her in bed with me for that last little bit of time and she'll sleep till 8 30 9 so it's really great um this video is getting way longer than i thought it was going to be um she it loves her baths which i think i've said now she's just kicks and kicks and kicks and i've moved her into my big bathtub instead of her little bathtub on the counter because she first of all is way too long for it her feet were you know basically going over the edge by you know two and a half or three months i think um so now she's in our big bathtub um and she just loves water she just splashes and splashes and splashes and there's no not one bit of fear um, she used to get fussy when we'd get her out of the bath and dry her off, but not anymore. She just loves, she loves every part of it. And she really loves when I put lotion on her because with my massage background, um, and you know, being that's what I do, I kind of give her a little baby infant massage and rub her tummy and I rub her back and I rub her fingers and toes and, you know, just kind of move all her circulation around while I put the lotion on her and I kind of make it fun. I sing a little song or something silly. Um, so she loves loves that um, I also put a little ducky in the bathtub for her um, and if you're friends with me on Facebook I think you saw saw all that um, she's getting fussy well, let's wrap this up what else she loves her extra saucer she is in that pretty much every day if not twice a day for at least 20 or 30 minutes um, she can move herself around she reaches all of the toys and absolutely loves that um, she sits in her bumbo chair all the time um, she's not in her swing too much anymore but she does you know sometimes she'll fall asleep in there but not very often um, she is okay all right sorry my thing stopped for some crazy reason anyways um, so yeah she loves TV which this is probably a controversial topic and if you don't want let your kids watch TV or you know you think it's bad or whatever then that's perfectly fine just can you keep your opinions to yourself but um, she loves TV she it catches her eye all the time um, and she watches a little bit in the morning and kind of helps her fall asleep um, and she also just kind of I think she learns a lot from it what she's getting fussy um she watches uh, Mickey Mouse she watches um, Fireman Sam she watches 
um, Bob the Builder, Super Y. She just loves TV. So much fun for her. So, yeah, um, and we don't let her watch a ton of it, but, you know, just a little bit here and there. And when, you know, if the TV's, even if we're watching TV and she's in the living room with us, it just catches her eye, the, you know, the colors and everything. So, and the sounds and everything like that. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, oh, I was going to touch on cloth diapering for real quick. Um, she, um, is doing well in cloth diapers, but we are still using disposables here and there. Um, especially just recently, it's been so hot, you know, that I just can't bear to take her out and put her in cloth and in the car seat and in the hot car. It just, you know, it kind of bums me out. So I leave her in disposables on really hot days. Okay, okay, okay. And we are, you know, burning through the last, um, of the size twos that we have, um, so hopefully pretty soon she'll be in exclusively in cloth but if i have to start some of the size threes on hot days then that's what i'll do um but other than that you know clothing cloth diapering is really really um going well um what else i think that's it all right so if i forgot anything at all i will put it in the down bar but um yeah so that is tara four month update oh baby girl all right i will talk to you guys later bye